practically with the inverse functionality, we can pull out, instead of pulling out the post of the user, we can pull out the user that belongs to that, uh, the, the user, all right, from that post uh, model. All right, so anyway, I almost confused myself there a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and test this out real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say get the post, oops, all right, that belongs to a user, right? So post, and then um, we'll do ID here as well, and then we say user. We're gonna pull that user that belongs to that post. That's what I've been trying to say, guys. All right, don't laugh at me. Don't make jokes. This is serious stuff. All right, cool. All right, so we can go ahead and return the post. First of all, what we gotta do is we gotta find the post. All right, and then we say I want to return the user and the username. All right, cool. So let's make sure that we have this ID right here. Perfect. All right, so now that we got that done here, let's actually apply it to the model real quick. So let's go to the user, uh, not the user, the post. And right on the post, we need to create that functionality. So we're going to say public function user. And then we're going to say return this belongs to all right so it's gonna be like this app user like this beautiful all right so now let's go ahead and try this out real quick all right so now here we'll come here and we'll say listen I want to get the post number one that belongs to this user enter I mean, I want to get the user that belongs to this post. All right. Am I saying that correctly? The user that belongs to this post. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. This user belongs to this post. Yeah, I'm good, guys. All right. So as you can see, we defined the reverse, right? We are doing the reverse. And we call this actually the inverse, right? The inverse relationship. So you can do this with different relationships. So make sure that you learn this really good. Basically, what we did, we did the opposite. All right. We went to the other model. All right. And created a function called post. And then we went to routes to pull this information out. We searched the post. Right. And then we took out the user out of there, the username out. All right. So the, all we did was the inverse uh, version of it. So learn that. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next lecture.